In this lesson, we are going to learn how to run and debug JUnit test cases using Visual Studio Code or VS Code. For that, first step, we need to download a sample project which I would be using in this particular lesson and it is in https colon double slash github dot com j2 expert 2015 slash java debugging with VS Code. So this is the project. You go there and you can click on this code button and download the zip file like you have done earlier. Now. Once this project is downloaded, you extract to a particular directory. Right now, I have extracted it to this particular location. Now, I am going to VS Code and I will point to this particular directory. Let me click on VS Code. So, my VS Code is already opened. Click on File, Open Folder, select the folder where your project is extracted. I am selecting the folder. Click on Select Folder. Now, here you need to wait for a while because VS Code will scan the particular project and it will do the Java build internally. You can see in the beginning at the bottom, we can only see outline and timeline. Now gradually, I can see the Java project. It is asking whether I want to install the Docker extension or not. I am not interested. So let me close this. Now we can see the Maven section also. As it is a Maven based project, let me just show you the project structure. Here I have the typical SRC directory source and the pom.xml. I want to show you the pom.xml first. Let me open that. Again, it is asking for the dependency analytic extension. I am not interested. Let me close this. Now, currently VS Code is scanning this particular Java project. Let it continue. Let me show you the dependency that I am using for the JUnit here. If I scroll down, we have the JUnit 5 dependency added in the pom.xml. On the right hand side here at the bottom, this opening Java projects message is shown. We have to wait for that patiently for a while. Now the message is gone. It is showing projects are imported into workspace. Let me close this. So the first thing that I need to do over here is do a Maven clean and install. I can do it from the terminal, but I can use this Maven section also. In the meantime, I can see some background task is going. If you see at the right hand side, there is a progress. It's still building. So let's wait for a while. I can click on show build status. Let's see. As you can see from the messages, it is refreshing the workspace. So let's wait for a while. Now we have a thumbs up icon. So it seems everything is complete. Let me go to the Maven section and do a clean and install or rather I can use the terminal also. Let me do it from there only. Press enter. The Maven project is right now clean and installed. Let me close all this and let me show the source code. Inside main directory under util package, I have two utility classes. The logic is not important. I want to just showcase the JUnit run and debug functionality. So just assume these are two utility classes, calculated util and data util. Inside calculator util, I have some sample methods like add, subtract, multiply, etc. Inside data util, I'm populating some dummy list of records. I have this method get person data. Say for example, at line number 26, I have a method starting get person data. It populates few person objects and ultimately puts that into a list and returns. Similarly, if I scroll down, I have get employee data also. Here I am populating four employee objects and finally adding them to a particular list and returning that. So it's pretty simple. I have two util classes and here inside the test directory following the JUnit convention, I have the test classes for calculator util as well as data util, calculator util test and data util test. Let me open them. So here in calculator util test, you can see there are two test classes. One is add two numbers. It's validating the addition. Another one is disabled. It validates the division. Then I have data util test. Here also I have two test methods. One is validate presence of item in person list. What I'm doing over here, I'm getting the list of person from the get person data. Then I'm checking is greater than zero or not using assert true. And the second one is validate employee data. Here it checks the list size should be equal to four. So the logic again, I'm repeating. It's not important. Only showing the functionality is important. Now, if we want to run or debug the JUnit test cases, we can do it from two places. One is the Explorer. Right now, my Explorer is open. If you have the Java extension pack installed inside your VS code, you would be able to view this green play icons. Now, this green icons are beside the class. As we can see over here, there are double buttons. And this green play icons is beside the test methods also. Now, if we click them, we can run the test. At the same time, it shows you click to run tests, right click for more options. If I do a right click over here, let's see. Here, it provides the option for run test, debug test, reveal in text loader and many other options. So I can do run and debug from here. So at class level, if I do it, 
it will run all the methods at method level only the method that is selected let me right click again reveal in test explorer let's click over there now on the left hand side this is the test explorer view earlier i said i can run and debug from the explorer view i can run and debug from the test explorer view as well now what is the advantage over here you can see it is giving me the overall view here i can run a single class maybe all the junit methods of a particular class but here if you see this is the high level right the project now this is the package and these are the test classes so what i can do if i have multiple packages now what i can do if i have multiple packages which are containing junit i can run or debug from here at the package level also i can run or debug even at the class level also and i can go to the granular level individual method level from there also i can run or debug anyways just for test purpose let me do one thing maybe here i can just place a breakpoint so first what i'll do i'll run it for all the classes so let me click over here at the top level or maybe even at the package level also i'm clicking on run test so on the right hand bottom you can see run test is showing let's wait and you can see at the bottom it is showing running tests now in the debug console the outputs are getting printed and now the test run is completed we can see all the icons right with check marks meaning three of three tests are passed 100% one is skipped the one that is skipped is this one in calculator util test i have this one in calculator util test i have this one as disabled that is why out of four three have run one is skipped so i have run it at the package level or project level now what i want to do i want to debug so i can debug it from here but i need to place a breakpoint so that it holds maybe in data util test anywhere i can place a breakpoint right it is already placed fine so i can debug it at the method level or at the class level also or any level let me do it from here only right now it is debugging tests slowly the editor is entering into debug mode finally you can see the breakpoint is hit but one observation as of today this particular part is pretty slow i mean for running a simple test also it is taking at least few seconds some performance improvement should be done it can be dependent on my system configuration also but anyways so at a high level what we can do we can run and debug the junit test from vs code from the test explorer view which provides us many more features we can do at method level class level package level project level we can do the same thing from the explorer also but there individual class level if i stop it let me show you but there we can run it at individual method or individual class level in case of test explorer we have more flexibility so now we know how to run and debug junit test cases from the vs code